Hello, everyone, and thanks again for joining us uh, on this Sunday morning service. We are so grateful to God that you're able to be part of this and um, pray that God will bless you where you are as you join us, as you participate. Let me read um, a scripture to you just to encourage you uh, this morning. Isaiah 26, 3. You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. God will keep you in perfect peace. My brother, my sister, wherever you are, perhaps the enemy has come in um, with various things to cause frustration, to cause confusion, to bring an amount of distress maybe, to bring a little bit of sadness maybe, um, whether in your family as individual or as a family, there is a, a crisis around at the moment with the cost of living and, and, and conflicts all around us. But the word of God for you is that you will know peace, peace um, um, that is unsurpassable by any issue or circumstances. I declare in your life right now that the Lord will speak and calm the storms that have come into your life, that the Lord himself will rise up and he will say, peace, into every cloud, into every storm. So please expect the Lord to have an encounter with you. Join us as we pray together. Join us as we worship. Lift your hands up. Declare the praises of him who has called you from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of life in Jesus' name. Please also remember that we, there is a website um, that we have and uh, later on it will come up on your screen. Please go to that website and get as, many, as much information as you need about all the activities that are going on in the All Nations Center. There are stuff for children, for young people, for men, for women, for families. You know, there's so much to be blessed by on our website. So let me encourage you to go, so, to go there during the week. Join us in our cell groups and our prayer groups and in various groups the young people the children please be a part of what God is doing all right the journey is far but we are together and so we will succeed together so let's pray as we go into the service father this morning we proclaim you as Lord. We declare that you are Lord. Jesus, you are King. You are Lord, and there is no kingdom, no prince, no, no, no um, ruler that can even compare to you. And because you are Lord, we know this morning that we are safe in your hands. We know this morning that we have peace within. We have joy because you are on the throne. So I speak into each life today. I declare into everyone today that they will know a special encounter with the Lord himself who is king in Zion. I pray, O oh God, that those who are sick shall be healed. Those who need, um, uh, who need uh, restoration shall be restored. Those who, need, uh, who have broken hearts today, oh my God, their hearts shall be mended by you. I pray for everyone. May we know the Lord himself as a God who is mighty in, to save my mighty to heal, mighty to deliver. Come, Lord, fill us with your Holy Spirit. Fill us with your presence. May your name be glorified today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you as you join us. Continue with us. Come on, saints, wherever you are, give God the praise. Rejoice. He's the strength of our life, our hope for tomorrow, our strength for today. And the journey, he's our strength and he will lead us through in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise
I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence comes my help? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Praise the Lord. We're going to move into a time of prayer. And I would like you to join us as we take this time out to just call on the Lord as we continue in this theme of ties that bond us. And I'd like us to consider a song prayerfully before we start this time of prayer. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together with cords that cannot be broken. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together, Lord, bind us together in love. There is only one God. There is only one King. There is only one body. That is why we sing. Hallelujah. There is only one God. There is only one King. And there is only one body. And that's what we're here to declare today. That indeed, as one body, we will serve the Lord as one. We will serve the Lord in unity. Hallelujah. The first prayer is a prayer of forgiveness and letting go. Because before we can walk together, there are things that need to go. And there's things that we need to forgive. And we're going to pray, first of all, that we would forgive and we would let go. I would actively forgive and let go any wrong or any hurt that has happened to me in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that I would let go, oh Lord, and I would release, oh God, anything, oh God, that is hindering me from being one in the body, from being one in purpose and continuing, oh God, within this family in love. Lord, I pray that I would be a person, oh God, of forgiveness and I would change in the mighty name of Jesus. I want us to pray that we would be bound together in love in the mighty name of Jesus, that we would walk together in love. Let's start to declare that we would be bound together in love in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, that we would love each other, that we would walk in love. When we see one another, we would see love. We would know that we should care for one, other, one another in an extraordinary way, in the way that speaks of sacrifice, in a way that speaks of, of um, brotherly love, in a way that speaks of our King. We want to pray that we would be bound together in purpose. As a church, we are, um, our motto is um, reaching lives, uh, reaching out, transforming lives and making disciples. How can we do that when we're not one and we're not together in purpose? So let's pray that we would be a people that are together in purpose in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we would walk in one in purpose. We would see, oh God, your vision clearly and we would walk, oh God, in your vision that you have set apart for us, oh God, that we would reach out to others, that we would um, transform lives, oh God, and we would make disciples in the mighty name of Jesus. 
We've always said in this church that success is sweeter together, that we would bind together in this church being successful, in ministries being successful, in our brothers and sisters being successful, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I would look, O oh God, to be a helper, O oh God, to my brother and my sister. I would look, O oh God, to be a person that is um, a conduit of blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. And I would be a partaker, O oh God, in other people's success by being um, a help to them in the mighty name of Jesus. As we go together, we want to cover each other. You know, it's not easy being in ministry and it's, it can be difficult. But, you know, when we see gaps and when we see loopholes, we will be a covering to the, the body of Christ. Lord, I pray that I would cover. Lord, I pray that I would not be a person that would hinder, a person that would be an obstacle. I would not be um, part of a smear campaign, oh God, but I would indeed be a covering to my brother and my sister. Where things are not going right, oh God, I would be there to cover. When things look shameful, oh God, I would be there to cover. Lord, when things, oh God, seem out of control, I would cover them, oh God, and I would speak, oh God, blessings onto them because we are walking together the ties that bind us together. Lord, I, we, will, we want to also pray that we will remember the people that have blessed us in the past and we would bless them and we would also bless others because we know what it is to be blessed. Lord, we want to thank you for those people who have been instrumental in our lives. We want to thank you for those people who have been blessings in our lives. And Lord, I pray that I would indeed go out, oh God, and remember somebody and do something good and be a blessing, oh God. I pray that, Lord, my hands, my mouth, my every part of my being would be used, oh God, to bless others. Because, Lord, you have blessed us, oh God. You have brought us together, oh God, as a body, as a unit, oh God. And we each have a, a, a function, O oh Lord, and I pray that we would carry that out, O oh God, and we would cause the church to grow and the body to grow. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Hello and welcome to everyone joining us online as the All Nations Centre goes online for the next few months whilst the church refurbishment is being undertaken. It is important that we continue to work together. Today, Sunday the 29th of May, concludes our theme for the month of May, The Ties That Bind, What Holds Us Together. ANC Children's Ministry Sunday School Please note that there is no Sunday School today, 29th of May. Sunday School sessions will resume on Sunday the 5th of June via Zoom. This is for all primary school age children. All registered parents will receive access details and information. Please contact the church office or the children's ministry via email for any queries. The Apostolic Church All Nation Centre building project is well underway. All Sunday services are now being held online. All ANC members are encouraged to join your nearest cell group for midweek fellowship and ministry. Full details of all cell groups are on the church website. You can speak to any church officer or call the church office. Saturday morning prayer meeting. Join us online every Saturday on Zoom from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. The meeting details are on screen and everyone is encouraged to bring the firewood to the fire. It is a meeting of minds to pray and spur one another onto prayer. We have poetry, writings, thoughts, scriptures and psalms, all of which build one another up. Full details of the topic and testimonies resulting from our weekly prayers can be found on the ANC website resources page. Please visit the resources page to listen to some of the things we've been talking about and praying about. Everyone is welcome to join us and we look forward to seeing you there. Next Sunday, the 5th of June, is Pentecost Sunday. We start our theme for the month of June, the strong Christian. Those that know their God shall be strong and do exploits. Those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Please join us as we hear these life-changing messages to strengthen us throughout the month of June. The ANC War Room. The church that prays together stays together. This is a prayer meeting every second and last Wednesday on Zoom from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. The next meeting is on Wednesday, 25th of May, 2022. Please join as we intercede for all leaders, members young and old, cell groups, the building project, and for our church and community projects in Jesus' name. Please join using the Zoom details given. 
I praise 24, revive us again, reignite us with fire. This starts tomorrow, Monday the 30th of May, all through the week, spanning five continents, Africa, Europe, Asia, USA, and Australia, with non-stop praise and worship, culminating in Pentecost celebrations on Sunday the 5th of June. 17 countries have already signed up to participate in this unique event, including Russia, India, Pakistan, USA, Canada, Ghana, and Gambia. On the 3rd of June, there will be four hours of worship and praise from each of these countries from 6 to 10 p.m. I Praise 24 concludes next week, Pentecost Sunday, 5th of June, from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Please note that you can join in person at the Worship Tabernacle, the Citadel, 131 St. John's Way, London, N19, 3RQ. Stay connected to ANC. Are you getting your ANC website newsletters sent every week by email? If you or anyone you know is not receiving communication from us, please get in touch with us via email, telephone or our website. Please also follow us on social media for regular updates and we look forward to you engaging with us by commenting, liking and sharing our posts. Have a wonderful week.
Bible reminds us that the Lord's strength is made perfect in our weakness. He's the strength of our life. May you be blessed even as you receive strength. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. But sometimes I wonder what he can do through me no great success to show no glory of my own yet in my weakness he is there to let me know Praise the Lord. Let me just say praise the Lord. And um, if you are with somebody, smile at them and tell them God loves you. Let me just encourage you to be involved in what we call participative uh, 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 worship. Don't just detach yourself. Just please listen to what I've got to say to you, what God has got to say to you through me. You say, yep, I, otherwise I, sh I might as well not preach at all. So please just put in there. If you've got a pen and a paper or else an iPad, make some notes, my friend. And let me also, as has been said previously, let, let, me, let, let, let me point you to our, our website, website newly designed, and, and um, it's, 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 it's well stocked, if you, if you pardon the expression, well stocked. I call it our Bethlehem. Bethlehem means a house of bread, and there are resources on that, website, on that website. Please avail yourself of what's on there, and let your soul be nourished, even as we are apart from, apart, away from each other from in-person in service. There is no reason for you to starve. Please use those facilities. They are for, they are for free. 
and um, use them and let your soul be nourished. I ask that the Lord will bless you as you, uh, as you make a concerted uh, effort and as you decide that you will follow the path of righteousness for his name's sake, that you lack nothing. I ask the Holy Ghost to come into, where, into your space. Wherever you are, I ask that he will minister to you from the word that is preached to you because that word is preached from the heart of God himself. The Lord bless you. Ties that bind the things that should hold us together. Listen to this. A plea from scripture. Therefore, let us pursue the things that make for peace and the things by which we may edify another. Does that not bring joy to your face? Or perhaps if you are contrary, then I say, no, I don't want to listen to that. But Romans 14, 9 says, therefore, let us pursue. Let us, let, not let us sit, but let us go after. Let us pursue the things which make for peace. And the things that make for peace are the things that bind us together. If whatever you are involved in does not make for peace, then please do not pursue it. But we'll pursue the things we make for peace and the things by which we may edify one another. So I pray that what I say to you this morning would edify you. Let me start. What I want to do with your, with, your, with your involvement, yeah? I said, with your involvement, I said, participative. That means you're going to be involved. That is, if you know your scripture, I'm going to try and run through quickly. That's going to take what we call a, a, a panoramic view of scripture and see, look at a few events where I could say, well, yes, there were ties that should have held people together, but perhaps didn't. Let's start with Cain and Abel. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You say Cain and Abel? What about Cain and Abel? They were brothers. If my understanding of scripture is correct, they were the two first two brothers on earth. And yet you and I will know that there was something that was not right with Cain. Cain did not like Abel. Actually, that was incorrect. Cain's problem was not with Abel. Cain's problem was with God. You say, why do you say that? It's because it was God who accepted the sacrifice of, Cain, uh, of, of Abel. And Cain looked and said, no, 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 no. This cannot be God. You got it wrong. You accepted what my brother brought. You didn't accept what I brought. Ties that bind. Should he not have rejoiced with his brother? Or else, as the Bible says, God said to him, if you do good, will you not be accepted? Why are you angry? Why is your countenance falling? Let we talk of ties that bind. Perhaps you are angry. You are angry with your husband. You are angry with your wife. You are angry with your son. You are angry with your daughter. Actually, you are angry with everybody. At least, at least. If, in fact, no, I'm not being correct. You may be angry with yourself. A man told me the other day he did something wrong and he was angry with himself and he felt very sad. But brother, sister, don't go the way of Cain. Cain was envious. Cain was disrespectful. When God said, where is your brother? You know, when God came to Cain and said, where is your brother? There was a tie that should have held him together. We are brothers, man. That didn't stop evil, the evil, evil heart of Cain. Ties that bind. Let's run quickly. Let's come to the, the, what I call the unholy trinity of Korah, Abiram, and Dathan, who challenged Moses and Aaron. And I say again that their challenge was primarily first against God, because after, at the end of the day, it was Moses was called by God. But even that is up for dispute. Someone may look at you and say, "You don't know God. God hasn't called you because they don't get what they think you want, so they attack the person, person next to you. If they had their own way, they would go after God Himself. Isn't that what what the Tower of Babel was supposed to be about? Ties that bind. Ties that bind. First, we had brothers, blood brothers, for goodness' sake. And then we have a leader and his people, a leader and his fellow leaders. They were not happy with God because God had chosen Moses. So they attack Aaron and Moses stands up. Let's move away very quickly. Then we have Ophni and Phineas, the sons of Eli, the high priest. They were, the Bible says they were, they were sons of the devil. Later versions wouldn't call them that. The new Canadian says they were sons of Belial. The fear of God didn't stop them. Their father, it, they, they, their father's priesthood didn't stop. They, they, what they did was to bring you to shame the priesthood of their father. Your father is high priest. Well, I would have thought if it's my father, then we'll behave ourselves, but they didn't. Then, of course, we have Ahab, Jezebel, 
in the case of Naboth's vineyard. Ties are bound. The ties that should have held things together was the fact that there was a tradition. Whatever was committed to you, you didn't sell. You kept and you passed on. So Ahab comes and says to you, Naboth, can I, have your, can I have your vineyard? I'll give it to you for money. The chap said, no, it's not mine. I like, I like the spirit of Naboth. said, it is not mine. It is not within my authority. It's not within my power to give it to you. So Ahab goes home and Ahab was sullen. He was sad and his wife looks at him and the wife who has no respect. What do you expect when you go and marry the daughter of a fetish priest? What do you expect? Have you now become king of Israel? Ties about. Here was a situation when Ahab showed no respect for the law, which was, he was told. The wife who comes from a foreign place says, oh, forget about it. She abused everything. When you go to the Old Test the New Testament and you have Jezebel mentioned, whenever you hear Old Testament characters mentioned in the New Testament, and especially in the book of Revelation, sit up. Sit up. Because that woman was terrible. Then we have Absalom and, his, and David, his father. Do I have to tell you about what Absalom did? He had a murderous spirit. He had murdered his brother Amnon. Okay, the guy was a rapist. So he murdered him. And then he went on to do other things. We just run through scripture and says, ties us bound. Haithophel and David. Haithophel was David's chief counselor. But he was biding his time until he could get David. Are you biding your time until you can get somebody? Ties are bind, my friend. Unfortunately, unfortunately for, Abs uh, for Haithophel, the battle didn't go the way he expected. He went and he hanged himself. Let's learn. Trusted counselors, they turn traitor. Are you in relation with people, your fellow leaders, but you plotting because there's your opportunity? No, my friend. Judas and Jesus, he could make a quick buck. And then we come to the Outrefis. Understanding his name means nourished by Jupiter. When you have a name that says you are nourished by Jupiter, what else would anyone expect from you? He was ambitious, he was proud. He was disrespectful of apostolic authority. He was rebellious and he was inhospitable. Ties that bind. Whenever you see an ambitious person, you find one who, 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 who divides. Because his ambition knows no, knows no end. It knows, nothing will stop them. They will trample upon everybody. Proud. Proud. I am better than anybody else. I'm better than the rest of you. And yet we look at you and we say, Chai, <laughs> we can't see anything at all. Disrespectful. Rebellious and inhospitable. Ties that bind. Love that will not let me go. Let me read to you from the song. Oh love, that will, oh love that will not let me go. I rest my weary soul in thee. I give thee back the life I owe. That in thine ocean depth its flow may richer fuller be. O oh light that followest all my way. I yield my flickering touch to thee. My heart restores his borrowed ray. That in thy sunshine's blaze his day may brighter, fairer be. O oh joy that seekest me through pain. I cannot close my heart to thee. I trace the rainbow through the rain and feel the promise is not vain. That morn shall tearless be. O cross that lifteth up my head. I dare not ask to fly from thee. I lay in dust life's glory dead. And from the ground there blossoms red life. That shall endless be. The history of, that, of this hymn. Is that. The man who wrote it was blind. Partially. Just, just partially. His sister was nurturing him. Looking after him. He was a, as a minister. There came the time when the sister had to marry. And then he knew that he was going to have no one then to take care of him. And he, he tells us this, that in a, in a brief period of time, he went through such horror that he could not understand. And out of that horror, he says those words were actually dictated to him. Oh, love that will not let me go. Ties that bind. Love that will not. Don't listen when uh, Tina Tina sings, of what love, what's, what's love got to do with it? We're talking of pure love. Pure love. Love that will not let me go. Oh, light that follows all my way. And if you believe the light that follows you is the same light that follows your brother or your sister ties that bind. Oh, joy that seeketh me through pain. Even when it costs. Because of the tie that binds. 
or follow. I say, um, be cost your mind. I'll walk the line. Oh, cross that lifts up my head. I dare not ask to fly from thee. You know, the verse 3 says, I cannot close my heart to thee. Ties that bind. To whom have you closed your heart? I'll tell you something that I find very, very difficult to understand. When two Christians have had a misunderstanding, and then one person comes and says, Brother, sister, can we talk about this? And I've moved on. I don't know where we learned that from. We may have picked it from other films. I have moved on. Where have you moved to? Away from Christ? Because that's exactly what you've done. God calls for reconciliation. I have moved on. I cannot close my heart to you. To whom have you closed your heart? And yet, the love of God has been shed abroad in our hearts. Let me ask you a question. Why would anyone sacrificially support a church financially? Conversely, why would others steadfastly refuse to do so? Ties that bind. Why? Ties that bind are not just words, but they are actions. Demonstra demonstrable actions. We don't meet in person anymore, so I will not pay my tithe. I will not support the church. And the church is supposed to come back together sometime. How are we going to come back? Why would anybody give sacrificially? There's a tie that binds first to Christ and then to the church to which he's called you. Listen to this, I love it. Ties that bind. Goodwill is most needed. Goodwill or perhaps God's will. Notice goodwill. When we wish each other well, ties that bind. I wish you well. I may not be rated to you by blood. I may not be rated, I may not be rated to you by, 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 by tribe, by color, by social standing, education. But hey, come on. I have goodwill for you. Goodwill says, I wish you well. I wish you well. May your journey be smooth. No success, my friend. Some of us would sooner curse than bless. Christians, as I've said previously, this message is to Christians. Listen to the series. I think this is the fifth of five. Why would you find it so easy to curse and to insult? Whenever I hear Christians insult, and some of us will say, oh, I don't want to hear about this. You are wasting your time and you are living in denial. You find it more difficult to say, bless you. Than uh, that, that you find easier to curse than to bless. Goodwill, or perhaps God's will. Goodwill has been defined as being friendly, helpful, or being cooperative. Things that bind us together. Listen to this. What I call the whatsoever things of God. Whenever I read this, I smile. You are looking to me and saying, what is it that should make me to be bound to somebody? And we talk about being bound, not bound in bondage, but to be liberated. Because ties that bind sets us free. The ties that bind us sets us free, my friend. They don't put us in bondage. Whatever puts you in bondage is not a tie to which you, which you should allow to bind you. The ties that bind are the things that sets us free. Set my spirit free that I might worship you. Let all bondage go and let deliverance flow. Set my spirit free that I might worship you. Philippians 4, 8. Listen to this. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, Whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue, and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these. Ties that bind, the things that hold us together. That which is true should hold us together. True in this pure sense. Noble. I like the word noble. The Apostle Paul says, noble lady. Come on, come on, come on, come on, church of God. When would we have people amongst us that would say, that's a noble lady. That's a noble man. Noble, not because of earthly titles, not because of earthly wealth, but there's something of God that comes out of you. Noble, your speech is pure. When they talk of gossips, you are not around. You know, there are some people, the moment you talk of gossips, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And it's true because it can be traced back to you. In fact, you don't even need to trace because it's so evident. Some of us have allowed nothing but insults to be part and parcel of our 
the stock in trade. You see people, you come to church, you see people, and before they pass, you've made comments about what, how they are dressed and stuff like that. And the strange thing is that perhaps you yourself are not even well dressed at all. Whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, is it just? Oh, no, no, it comes from my tribe, so it must be correct. No, it comes from your tribe, but it's a murderer, it's a thief, it's a rapist. He's Satan's uncle himself. Whatever things are pure, purity, I like the word pure. Oh, may we have pure relationships. Oh, may we have pure marriages and pure friendships. And when we stand before God, may we be pure, dressed in white, washed in the blood of Christ. Whatsoever things are lovely. Lovely. I don't know what you find lovely, but lovely, let me put it, so lovely is lovely. Lovely is ple uh, pleasant. Lovely is desirable. Lovely is all that we seek for, that which is love. Father, I just want to pray that as we are away from each other. May our memories and our thoughts of each other be lovely thoughts. As King David said, we are sweet fellowship together. May you bring us to a place or else in our quiet times, how lovely our fellowships have been. How lovely our relations have been. How lovely when we work together. Yes, I said work together. This last few weeks when we've had to move and people came together and when carrying chairs and clean up, how lovely. Ties that bind. I tell you what, when we go on our ventures together, when we venture together in purity, no mutiny, that binds us. Can you remember when we did this? We sit down one day, if God gives us life, we'll sit down with our grandchildren and say, hey, can you remember this? Hey, can you remember that? Our, our, our memory may be fuzzy, but there may be the pictures that say, oh yeah. If you don't mind the words, we was, we was there. We were there. We saw what happened. All sorts of things are lovely. All sorts of things are of a good, a good report. Not a bad report. A good report. Oh, he was splendid. He was wonderful. Why is it that when somebody has done something wonderful, we find it of no consequence telling it. Let the person put a word out of place. The telephone lines will be ringing. And before you know, the telecom shares and everything are soaring. If there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. Oh, love that will not let me go. God is calling you and I to a place of mutual respect, as I've been already said. God is calling us to a place, or else God is calling us and says, allow my word to hold you together. Allow the fact that you were bought, purchased, Redeemed by the same blood to hold you together. Your tribe is wonderful. But not as wonderful as the blood of Christ shed on Calvary. Your status in life is wonderful. But not as wonderful as what you find in Christ Jesus. Brother, sister. Our fellowships. When we ought to come together as one. As one big bonfire, we split, split, because we have nothing but a desire to be seen. A shooting star. Shooting stars are just for a moment. A flash, and then they are gone. That is not what I desire. Will there be any stars in my crown? Yes, my friend, if they are, then I must follow the way of peace. Abraham turns around and he says to Lot, let there be no strife between us. Allow the blood of Christ to hold us together. Allow the Holy Spirit to hold us together. Allow the word of God to hold us together. Allow the fact that he's your brother. He's your sister. Allow the fact that once you were done a good deed. I'd like to pray with you. Or else let us pray together. Let us pray together, friend. I want to pray with you, my friend, ask that your friendship will not be to the exclusion of others. Oh, there are different levels of friendship. But just because you are friendly with one person, that means you cannot be friendly with others. There are those people who are falling out with somebody because they're falling out with somebody, you, you, uh, you also must fall out with them. May the Lord God Almighty release us from this demonic spirit that says so. May we be held together. By the strong cause of love. More, more by the love and the fear of God than what our tribes or our mother tongue says. 
Father, I let your Holy Ghost minister to us. May you bring to our memory the things that you've done, the, the, the journeys we've gone together, the battles we've fought together, the ventures we've had together. Holy Spirit, we pray. But above all, give us a vision of what you want to do with us together. Give us a vision of what you want to do with us together. In unity, there is strength, ties that bind, that holds us together. That we can say to each other, courage, brother, do not stumble. Though thy path be dark as night, there is a star to guide the humble. Trust in God and do the right. Let us follow the path of righteousness, the path of holiness. These are the ties that should bind us together. Bind us together with cords that cannot be broken. Rejoice with those who Don't follow the Ephraimite spirit. The Ephraimite spirit is a devilish spirit. That is why they cannot say shiboleth. May you and I speak the same tongue, the tongue of heaven. May we speak the tongue of heaven. Not the, not, not the tongue of our tribe. There's nothing wrong with that. But when all is said and done, may we all be able to say, Jesus Christ is Lord. That's the sound we want to speak. Jesus Christ is Lord. And he's coming back again. Let me say this to you, brother, sister. The Lord bless you. And the Lord keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine on you and be gracious unto you. The Lord live the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace. May he now come into your space wherever you are. May he really take hold of you. May he strength to you. Give you strength for the journey ahead. Captain of Israel's host and God. Of all who see the land above, beneath thy shadow we abide. The cloud of thy fill love. May he be to you, my friend, a pillar of cloud by day, a pillar of fire by night. His presence always with you. That he will succeed. That he will blossom. That he will flourish. Remain blessed. In Jesus' name. Thank you very much for allowing us into your personal space. Let me point you once again to our website, to what I call Bethlehem, the house of bread. For there you will find nourishment, even as we are away from each other. Amen and amen. Amen. I'm sure you would like me to thank Pastor Sake for reinforcing the words that we've been listening throughout this month, this wonderful theme of the ties that bind. We, we, there are ties that bind us together. They are strong, and together we stand. If we're divided, we fall. But together, as we have a real commitment to each other, we demonstrate our commitment in every way. We don't shirk from our responsibilities to each other, to love each other, to work with each other, to receive respect each other, to be a team player, to be with each other through thick and thin. If we have that, then, oh, God will pour out a blessing, the blessings that he has promised on a united and a, and a, and a community of believers together. Let's take that with us into this week. Everything that we've heard today, please let God remind us of those things because they will keep us strong. They will keep up to going through these times in the name of Jesus. Can I remind you that we have um, a website, we have um, things going on during the week please do join let's 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 plug into what god is doing um, amongst us and god will bless us so we're going to finish off now and we are going to again we're going to read the um, declarations together and then we will do a doxology but it will the declaration will come up on the screen and we'll read together thank you the presence of God will be with me and mine as a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. And I will drink from the rivers of the delights of my God. I will know the real contentment of the Lord in all my ways and in all its ramifications. I am looking forward to be back to in-person services, stronger and fitter for the master's use, and for his glory. Amen. Now let's read the doxology together from Revelations 1, 5 to 6. To him who loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood, and has made us kings and priests to his God and Father, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. Have a blessed week. Thank you for listening to God's Word. 
We are the Apostolic Church All Nation Center in Kennington, London. Find us at Tyus Terrace, Kennington, London, SE11 5LY. Our telephone number is 0207 820 On the web, we are at www.apostolic-anc.org. All Nation Center, reaching out to you in practical and caring ways.